Casey Kenny versus Haley Alatang is a bantamweight bout. Casey Kenny has a cheetah record of 14 wins, 2 losses, and 1 draw. Haley Alatang has a cheetah record of 14 wins, 7 losses, and 1 draw. Alright, so Casey Kenny is currently 29 and a half years old. Haley Alatang is currently 28, almost 29 years old, which means I highly doubt age will play a factor in this fight. Also, Casey Kenny is currently 5 foot 7 inches tall. Haley Alatang is currently 5 foot 6 inches tall, which means that Casey Kenny is going to have a height advantage in this fight. Also, Casey Kenny has a 68 inch reach. Haley Alatang 66.5 inch reach. Casey Kenny is going to have the advantage there as well. Alright, so for the topology predictions, Casey Ken Kenny is currently sitting at 91% of the votes, um, mainly by decision or submission. A lot tank only has 9% of the votes, mainly by decision, so Casey Kenny is a huge favorite to win this fight. Now, for the betting odds, Casey Kenny is also a huge favorite at minus 305. Um, Haley Alatang is sitting at plus a 240, so yeah, Casey Kenny is a huge favorite to win this fight. Alright, so Casey Kenny ended up winning his first fight by second round of naked choke, then a unanimous decision win, a third round TKO, a first round armbar, a first round darts choke, and then a first round naked choke submission, which got him into the LFA, where in his first fight there, he ended up fighting Bruno Silva, but ended up getting the draw. After that draw, he was actually invited onto Dana White's Contender Series, where he got a unanimous decision win over CJ Hamilton, and he was actually invited again on Dana White's Contender Series, and ended up fighting Adam and Tolin, where he ended up losing the fight by split decision. After that loss, he was not offered a fight in the UFC, so he went back to the LFA, where he got a unanimous decision win over Kendrick Latchman, a unanimous decision win over Roman Salazar, and a unanimous decision win over Brandon Royval, followed by a first round KO over Vince Kikero. After all those wins, he was invited into the UFC, where he got a unanimous decision win over Ray Borg, and a unanimous decision win over Manny Bermudez. After that, those two wins inside of the UFC, he ended up getting a huge, huge step up in competition as in his next fight against Marab Divashvili, one of the best wrestlers in the game right now. He ended up losing by unanimous decision because, I mean, Marab just kept taking him down, taking him down, taking him down over and over again, just like he does in all of his fights. And, I mean, it was kind of expected. He lost the fight by decision. But after that loss, came back with a first round one arm guillotine choke over Luis Smolka. Alright, now let's take a look at his opponent, Haley Alatang. Alright, so Haley Alatang actually started his career off very, very bad, as he did win his first fight by decision, but he lost his second by decision, came back with a rear naked choke, lost his one after that by second round KO, won a second round rear naked choke submission, and then ended up losing three straight fights in a row by second round KO, unanimous decision, and first round armbar, came back with a second round KO, but lost his next one after that by decision, and that's where he got a nice six fight win streak with a second round standing guillotine choke, three decision wins in a row, two by unanimous decision, one by split decision, a first round KO, and then another unanimous decision. But in his next fight against Namjin Yo, ended up getting a draw, and in his next fight after that against Kaya Sakura, ended up losing by first round KO, came back with a first round KO, a second round KO, and that's where he was invited into the UFC, where he got a unanimous decision win over Dana Batagueru, and a very close split decision win over Ryan Benoit. Alright, so I mean, Casey Kenny's ground game, as you guys know, is pretty good with the submissions. Now, I'm not talking about the wrestling because like, you already know, Marad Divas really absolutely destroyed him there. Um, but he does have good striking as well. Um, and I just think it's just all going to be too much for Alatang to handle. I mean, Alatang has not faced anyone like nearly resembling Casey Kenny. I mean, Casey Kenny is one of those fighters that is just good all around, except for the wrestling when he's fighting Marab Divashvili. But yeah, he's very, he's good basically everyone everywhere else against every other fighter in the bantamweight division. And I do think Casey Kenny is gonna dominate this fight and win this fight by unanimous decision. All right, if you agree, disagree, or have something to say, make sure to put in the question below. And I respect to every single one of those comments. Make sure to like, subscribe with notifications turn on so you don't miss the absolute best MMA content out there. It's been fun, but I'm out of here.